One, two, one, two. Hey, what's going on, my good people? It's your boy, Tom Swoop, and this is Super Fresh and Super Clean. And one of the things I'm gonna talk to you guys about, this is a transparent video, so stay locked and loaded. Man, what are the five fattest things you've ever done? So, I got some stories to tell, but you know, we go, we gonna get into that, but just understand, I've been fat a long time, so hey, this is about to be like uh, a series. <laughs> All right, so, you know, just to be transparent, you know, with you guys, and I appreciate you guys tuning in to this video because I understand this is a sensitive issue for most people who are overweight or have been battling, you know, weight for years. So, <clears throat> just to give a little backstory on me, uh, it's 2022, so around 2010, I weighed 417 pounds. Now, that was the most I had ever weighed. I was, I got hurt at work, uh, messed up my back really bad, off and on for like, probably about six months. Um, I gained a ton of weight, couldn't work out because every time I did anything, it aggravated my back. So, you know, we looked into, you know, weight loss surgery. Um, uh, my doctor talked me into something called like a gastric sleeve, sleeve eschemy or whatever. So I did that. Um, I lost about 90 pounds. Then I started working out and I lost about another 10 or 15 pounds. And then, so now it's like, I sort of like, fluctuate back and forth between just under three or just over. So that's been, you know, almost 10 years. Well, 10, 12 years ago. But in doing so, I didn't get big like most people would think. Typically, I've always been a big guy, like bigger, thicker guy. You know what I'm saying? Around 250, 265. I'm 6'3". So not super duper big, but not definitely not enormous or anything like that. Like most people be five, 600 pounds. So in getting the surgery, they make you go do these like things to qualify for the surgery or surgery or whatever. Like you have to go to therapy. You got to, you know, do some weight loss journaling, stuff like that. So <clears throat> my top five fattest things I've ever done starts back then during that process. And so I remember one of the things I had to do was go to a group therapy session. So I'm sitting in this therapy session and and I'm like, um, I'm just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm an observer. I, I like to look around and see things and hear the words that are coming out of people's mouth. And so I'm at this therapy session and I look to my left and you know, the, the young lady, she's sharing and she's like, you know, last night for no reason, I drank two, two liters of Pepsi. And in my head, I'm like, how, how did you drink two, two liters of Pepsi? So, okay. So going into the, the, the group therapy session, I'm thinking I'm about to be in a room full of big people, big people, like people like me and, and higher. This chick was probably about 110 pounds, about five, three. And she's talking about, she just drank a two, three, two Two, two liters of, of Pepsi last night. And I'm like, so I'm sitting here and thinking, I'm like, I've never done anything. Like, I'm like, and then the next guy, he's like, you know, like five, nine, 145 pounds. He's talking about how he ate like two gallons of ice cream. And I'm like, I've never done anything like, like I've never sat around and just ate two gallons of ice cream, two, two, two liters of Pepsi. I've never done anything like that. everything I'm about to tell you about my top five things of being the fattest things I've ever done is honestly, they're born out of laziness. So, hey, buckle up <laughs> but I'm, a, I'm in this group therapy session and i'm hearing these stories of these people and i'm just like what you did what you you fat bastard what you're not, and you're not even fat you don't, you don't even qualify to be here and so in my head i'm like well maybe these are people who've had the surgery already and they've lost weight and they're just skinny now no that was not the case this was just people taking advantage of a therapy session they were never fat there should be some prerequisites if you're coming to a therapy session with fat people you have to be fat am i wrong am i wrong i'm just saying i'm just saying but look Five fattest things I've ever. Okay, let me think here. Number one. No, let me not give me back it up. Number five. I put a refrigerator in my bedroom and it's full of snacks and drinks. Now, most people will think that's not too crazy, but my kitchen is right next to my bedroom. So literally, if I really wanted to, I could just get my ass up and go next door to the kitchen. But it's easier just to reach, grab, and just. Number four. Now, my number four, my number four, now I feel bad about it, but think about it. When you really think about what I'm about to tell you, it's not that bad. Go to the airport and tell them you need a wheelchair. 
Get where I'm going with this one? I am too big to be catching a connection from one side of the airport to the other. So yes, sometimes when I'm at the airport, I ask for a wheelchair and yes, they have some old man running around the airport, pushing me in a, in a wheelchair to get to my connecting flight. So yes, my number four, asking for a wheelchair at the airport. To follow up with that number four, number three. Listen, I'm gonna be serious. Sometimes I just don't feel like walking around the grocery store. So I just get in one of those carts with the wheels on it and, and I just, I shop like that. There's nothing wrong with my legs. I'm actually in pretty good shape, but I mean, think about it. Walking, not walking. I remember one time I put my fitness tracker on and I walked around the store and did grocery shopping. I had like 3000 steps. I'm not trying to do that every time I go grocery shopping. So of course, yes, I get into the cart at the grocery store and ride around and do all of my shopping. And yes, if I see like a worker there and there's something I don't want to get up out the chair to grab, I'm gonna be like, yes, excuse me, able-bodied human. Could you grab that for me? I'm sorry, but I'm not getting out of the car. Thank you. And yes, you can help me put this stuff in my car. You know, as soon as we get to my car, that's a whole other thing. And they see me get out the chair and hop in the Jeep, a Jeep sitting up on 35s. They're like, dude, really? And I'm like, hey, sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Now, some people might think this is me being fat. Some people might think this is me being strategic. If I go to a cookout, I like to pack a plate first, run it out to my car. Then I like to come back and consume a plate there. And when I leave, I like to pack another plate and leave. Now, I know most of you just heard three plates. It's not that I'm eating all three plates. I'm only eating one plate, but then I have backups, you know, like almost like an iCloud for eating. For later, I can download my meal. But listen, I'm serious, like this is, and, and for one, this is only contingent upon the food actually tasting good. Now if the food's trash, of course, I'm not doing none of that. But if the food is fire, I'm packing, I'm eating, and I'm packing again. Boom, super duper fat, who cares? Oh, number two. This goes back to the airport. Now this is actually a pretty good life hack. Let's say you get to the airport and you're a big guy or a big girl, right? And let's say they only have a middle seat available. And so, you know, they call it riding B, but trust me, follow me. Call the, call the stewardess, tell her that you feel like you have an uh, episode, a diabetic episode and you need some some orange juice and you're sweating and you're hot on multiple occasions they have said sir please come with us move me to first class brought me orange juice and snacks to replenish my fatness and i rode first class for free number two wish you were <laughs> you i listen i know you guys are hearing that you're like that's kind of ingenious bro fam it worked multiple times and i'm i kind of suck i'm making this video because it might get out and you know once one person try it then everybody tries it but yeah it's worked multiple times and i'm not diabetic at all okay i will say before i actually had the weight loss surgery i went to el paso texas and I did the 72 ounce uh, steak challenge. That would probably be the most gluttonous, fattest thing I've ever done in my life. A 72 ounce steak, a huge salad, a huge baked potato, and a drink. And I think I have 45 minutes or maybe an hour to eat it all. And if I could eat it all, I could get you know a prize, which was a t-shirt and your name goes up on the wall or whatever. So I remember, like going in on the steak and I was just like, I'm it. And the thing is the steak really wasn't anything that big, isn't that good. So the steak tasted like leather, you know what I'm saying? And like about a quarter of the ways to it, I was just like, what am I even doing? And so I quit, but that would probably be the most gluttonous fat thing that I've ever done is attempt the 72 ounce challenge. Um, in El Paso, Texas. So that's my top five fattest things I've ever done. You leave your top five fattest things you've ever done in the comments. Hey, let's get healthy together in 2022 or whatever. So whenever you're watching this video, so, cause this, we can't keep doing this stuff. All right, we need to get healthy and stay healthy. And it's a lifestyle change and I get it, blah, blah, blah. After this video, I'm probably gonna have some ice cream, but this is super fresh and super clean and I'm out. Hey, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. We're trying to grow this channel. Can't do it without you. I'm out.